Hello there guys, thanks for watching this video and today I'm showing you the Raspberry Pi camera V2 and you can get this for very cheap online on Amazon it is $21.50 or $18.99 but you can get different versions such as Waveshare one, you can get Raspberry Pi cases camera cases we haven't got fantastic reviews for cases haven't and uh, loads and loads of different stuff but I have got the second one I think here no no I've got this first one Raspberry Pi V2 uh, 8 megapixel 1080p camera module which is this here and what I'm going to do is just unbox it have a look at what's on the back and then get it working with the Raspberry Pi let's get started then um, take the back off comes with yep this is it comes with the Raspberry Pi camera module in this packaging and then also um, just a safety guide I'm not going to read that let's just take this out of the packaging then and here we have it uh, Raspberry Pi camera V2.1 What I'm going to do first then is show you how this connects with the Raspberry Pi If you look here um, The Raspberry Pi has a little thing here A little slit And this camera module If you look very closely it should say camera there um, And you can actually just plug your camera into here. Make sure that the blue bit on the camera, there's a blue bit and then just a few silver lines, the blue bit is facing the Ethernet port. Just pop this in here and there we go. Now before you actually use the camera for whatever you wanted to use it for, you're going to have to make sure that you've got a Raspbian loaded uh, with or any Linux operating system pretty much uh, that has on, an, on a micro SD card if you've got a Raspberry Pi 2 we're now going to go over to a computer and I'm going to show you what code you need to run to get this working but open up run the Raspberry Pi um, with the keyboard and mouse attached and you don't need to connect it to the internet really and open up Python 3 and when you've done that you're ready for the next part I nearly forgot about this actually before you do anything you need to go into the menu preferences uh, Raspberry Pi configuration wait for that to load up and then go to interfaces and make sure that camera is enabled. If it's disabled, then it's not going to work. It needs to be enabled. Here we have a very basic sketch to run on the Raspberry Pi that um, that just gets the camera working. Then it'll show a preview of the camera on full screen on the Raspberry Pi, showing what the camera is seeing at that right moment for 10 seconds, and then it'll stop first thing that you need to do is import Pi Camera which is the library that makes it possible to use the Raspberry Pi Camera on the Raspberry Pi and then import the time library or more specifically import sleep from the time library because that's all we're using we need to set up a variable for the Pi Camera and call it Camera then we start the preview we stop for 10 seconds just wait it out so that you can see the preview of the camera for 10 seconds and then stop. So that's all um, you need to do for setting up the Pi camera. You can see here the code on my Raspberry Pi um, now all you need to do is run it. This is just going to turn on the camera for 10 seconds. Save it as well. And then the camera will go on full screen. And uh, you can see the camera oh, here. Um, just 
and there we go it goes off um, you didn't see much with that but that just shows how to get the camera working and um, it's just that code enter it onto your Raspberry Pi and run it you don't actually even need to be um, in the terminal to do this okay now let's get on to taking pictures you can actually change the camera's rotation as well at camera dot rotation equals 180 that will make the camera flip itself upside down and you can change that to like 90, 270, any rotation you like that's just an extra thing that you can do to um, make it rotate I won't show that in action because it's fairly obvious what it's going to do now let's have a look at how to take pictures uh, same at the start um, two libraries, one for Pi camera, one for time and setting up a variable for it also we need to start a preview and that's because uh, we need to make sure that the camera has got enough time to just focus its lenses um, so we're going to sleep for five now really you want to um, have a delay of about two seconds just to let it focus then um, we use something called camera.capture and what camera.capture does is it just saves a still image to a location then in brackets um, you just need to put the image location so it's uh, slash home slash pi slash des desktop and then a name for the image I've just called it image but you could call it anything really um, I'll just rename it to example and then stop the preview so that's just going to take a still image that's all it'll do let's go and have a look at it in action let's go ahead and run the code um, I just showed you this with the screen recorder the module Oh, well, but I should have saved a picture. Now, just um, open up the picture. I'll have a look at what has um, saved. Now, if you wanted to, one thing you could do is make it take five pictures by adding for I in range five. That's in the wrong place. Should be there. Um, just indent the sleep and the camera dot capture. What that's going to do is it's just going to five times take uh, pictures after five seconds. Um, that's you could do that if you wanted it to run five times if you wanted. That's just something you could do. Now I'm just going to show you one more thing that you can do before the end of the day, which is to um, <coughs> record a video. So now, to do this, you will need to just enter a line in the command line to play a video, but I'm sure that won't be a problem for most people. Um, same first four lines, uh, two libraries, variable for the camera, and starting a preview. Then we use something called camera.startrecording, and like with the capture, we just specify where we want it to record to. Uh, wait 10 seconds to record a 10 second video then stop recording and stop the preview and then that will save onto your Raspberry Pi wherever you specify the folder then uh, once you've done that you'll have to enter something into the command line to play it but we'll have a look at that in a second I'll just show it you on the Raspberry Pi first so I've got a video to play okay then let's now go ahead and run the code uh, one second that then run so it's supposed to be saved so save it now I haven't really got anything to record so I'll just show the desktop again because I've got nothing else to record there we go it's finished after 10 seconds and then let's just have a look um, to run this now we need to enter something in the command line so open up the terminal we're using something called OMX Player. Uh, I'll move this more into the screen for you. OMX Player. I'm having to type with one hand, that's why I'm s typing slowly. OMX Player, because I'm having to hold the camera. 
and I called it uh, video one dot h264 let's play it and uh, that is the video that I recorded now that is much faster than I actually recorded it because it has a much higher frame rate but you can actually change these settings let's just play that one more time so that just shows how to record a video using the Pi camera it records it in the form of H264 I'm sure you can get a converter to convert it into a normal file format but that's for video Okay, hopefully in this tutorial I've shown you how to use the Pi camera and how to take videos, uh, do a preview, take videos and take pictures and all of that stuff and also um, change it round so that the rotation. Now I will be doing a second part of this video if it gets enough views showing how to um, change some of the settings. That's all, thanks for watching.